Hey guys, what's up? XX Pain Mods here, commentating on an E3 Flasher downgrade. It's gonna be easy. Um, I'm doing this for the other guy for the win. Uh, so what you guys gonna need for this is a downgrade dongle. It could be the E3 card reader. Um, a US a random USB device. It doesn't have a specific kind. A micro SD card and the files, which will be down low in the description. I put them all together. I took the time and yeah, put them together. If you see, I organized it for you. There's going to be a password, so, um, yeah, just ask him, or he might put it in the description. It's either way. And, um, yeah, so once you guys download this stuff, we're going to go to step one. Okay, guys, what you're going to do, you're going to take your micro SD card, plug it into the card reader. I don't use the E3 card reader because, uh, I don't know, I just get scared of I might do something to it. Now what you're going to do, plug it into your computer, and I'll show you what to do. Alright, after you plug it into your computer, you're going to go into the file that I provided you with. And um, now if your PS3 is not dual boot, or you're not trying to do dual boot, um, don't do it. Just go to upgrade regular. Now, what you're going to do, just drag it over on the root of it, and just place it there, right? Now, once you're done, take it out your computer and I'll show you the next step okay after you got um, after you take it from the computer you are gonna install it right here and make sure you have the first two switches down and all the rest of them up on the e, uh, e3 uh, sorry TF cover board and make sure you have on your eSATA station uh, yeah make sure it's on and have the cord connected and now after that what you gotta do I'm gonna turn off the light so you guys can see the blue lights or you guys can already see now you're gonna turn on your computer uh, PS3 now it should automatically uh, load and upgrade you see the blue lights now make sure your game comes to uh, make sure once you start your game let it load for a second as you see on the screen And let me just press user one. And once it goes to user one, just let it set for like a couple seconds. And then turn it off. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to take your micro SD card. Now, put it back into the to the card reader and I'll meet you right back on the computer okay after you put your micro SD card back into your computer you're gonna go into the downgrade bin which is located in the E3 flasher steps right right here now the you're gonna wanna back up I'm gonna teach you guys what the backup soon just put uh, the E3 downgrade and in, into the micro SD and then you're gonna take your micro SD card out and put in your PS3 and I'll show you what to do after that before continuing make sure to take out your micro SD card from your USB and uh, stick it in the TF cover board on the just like on the bottom left part of this picture alright now you can continue okay now this is going to be the uh, backup process. It's not going to be the download uh, downgrade process yet. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to put everything down except for the third one. The third one has to be up. So you see one, two, this one has to be up. So after that, you're going to want to turn on your game. Sometimes it starts automatically and sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna watch it first it's not so let it get to the main menu now I'm not gonna have the video uh, screen up just it doesn't have to get to the main menu just wait like a minute or 30 seconds and I guess it should be fine now so what you're gonna do you're gonna press start right here start now it's gonna take a four minute process 
So I'm going to speed up the video. Okay, after it's done, what you're going to do is just turn off your PS3 simply. Now you're going to take the micro SD card out once it's finished. You uh, Sorry, you're not going to take it out. Okay, after you did all the process, don't take your micro SD card out. Just keep it in. Sorry, that was my mistake. And um, You're just going to put the... Okay, you're gonna put the third one down put all of them down except for the last one. It says unlock I don't know if you guys can see it or not It says unlock right there. Maybe it show up on the computer. I don't know, but um, it says unlock right there and You're gonna flip the last switch up like I said and Then what you're gonna do this is gonna be the la uh the longest process of the downgrading process it's uh, seven to eight minutes. Mine took longer last time. So what you're going to do, make sure you have all of them down. Press start. It's going to load up. Uh, let your screen load up. And uh, just give it a few seconds. I'm not looking at the screen. I don't. I have a dazzle, so I forgot to get the S, uh, the vi uh, the S video car uh, cable. So um, once the you feel like it's ready what you're gonna do you're gonna press start and I'm gonna uh, fast forward my video until it's done see you guys when it's done Okay guys, once it's done, turn off the power. Now, I want you guys to see this. Take the plug out. Hey, 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 hey. Don't plug it back in yet. I'll meet you guys on the, uh, make sure you take your SD card out and uh, I'll show you guys what to do next. Now this is the step for your E3 card reader. Now I know uh, the micro SD card can go in the E3 card reader. Do not put it in. Just keep it by itself. Keep You see it? There's nothing in there. Keep it by itself. Now plug it into your computer and I'll show you what to do. Okay, once you're on your computer, you could go ahead and plug in the E3 card reader into your computer. Now the first one's going to pop up is removable disk J. You don't want that. You want the E3 upgrader. This one. The second one that pops up. Now th these files are always on mine. I don't know if they're on your computer too. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to the E3 flasher steps file that I supplied you guys with. Now you're going to go into the E3 card reader file right here now you're gonna now what I have to do I have to delete them and they come back if you see now your e3 card reader is like it doesn't have that much space so yeah so don't freak out if it starts freaking out so what you can do exit out of here exit out of here go ahead unplug it and put it I'm just gonna put it on my desk I have to show you guys another step alright guys you are now done with step one now click this link right here in the middle of the screen to go to step two and finish the downgrade process to 3.55 for your E3 flasher.
Alright, thanks for watching.